Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Roy. Hope you all are doing great. I've got a question from Subham Maharana about how do I find out the shadows from real photos while I'm creating any vector cartoon illustration in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into the lesson without any further ado. So let's start the tutorial. You can see I have downloaded three different kind of photos or three girl with different kind of lighting situation. I have already kept open my Photoshop as well as Illustrator and I just kept uh, the complete setup of illustration by dragging that photo as a template. You can see it's 50% uh, opaque and 50% turns transparent and uh, uh, so let's uh, see the photos actually if you see the first photo it is uh, under a complete sunny day and uh, she is uh, standing in the shades so all kind of lights reflected lights direct lights as well as uh, flash or field flash uh, lights are there in second photo you can see it is uh, a shaded uh, area but in a daytime outdoor shooting so shades are there but this is a studio setup and this is uh, having a complete a controlled setup where the daylight is not there the shadow and highlight is very much prominent so um, it is easy to distinguish the shaded areas let's uh, start with that image only uh, we will just unlock that layer then drag down and copy it and then uh, lock it down and then uh, we'll remove the template feature uh, so that uh, we can get the 100% opacity of that particular image and then we will select uh, go to effect we'll just go to effect and then effect gallery uh, here we can uh, select the poster age i have just used it earlier so it is uh, already predetermined that uh, the age thickness is zero and age uh, fidelity intensity is zero but the main thing is posterization so i'll just make it a zero then slowly i will show you the edge thickness Increasing the edge thickness will not help you. Increasing the edge fidelity also or intensity also will not help you. You have to play with posterization. So play with it. Uh, this is in case of zero. You can see a little bit of shadow and highlighted two different uh, tone only available because of that uh, um, posterization level which is actually completely zero. We can make it now one. So you can see there are more layers of shaded areas so shadow is having more la la layers and levels whereas that is highlighted areas now we can increase it up to uh, 2 now you can find that there are more uh, layers of shades as well as the highlighted area is also uh, differentiated from mid tone we can go to 3 but that is not distinguishing the layers it is very difficult to uh, differentiate the shaded areas and the mid tone and highlights so it will depends on your uh, photo how you will act on it and you have to play around with posterization uh, scroll uh, sometimes it's uh, it requires only one or two or maybe three and and that's how you can make the shades from the real photo and then you start illustrating it in uh, illustrator so let's make it okay click it okay and now you can lock that layer then go to painting layer select a pen tool and go to uh, a layer where you can draw and you can just start drawing the shades without uh, detailing each and every pixel and corner uh, I'm not going to teach you everything in this particular tutorial because this is only for uh, shadows finding out the shadows from real photos so that's how you can do it but there is another option I just want to explain everything because these three uh, photos are different than uh, each, uh, each and other because they have a different kind of shadows so I'll just open them I'll just go to my desktop and then I have these three photos in YouTube text uh, folder so I'll just open it and click OK for the first photo and then second photo it's uh, taking a little bit of time okay we'll wait second one okay this one I work actually on RGB 1998 you can work whatever the working space you work inside the Photoshop it can be srgb or it can be adobe rgb but it doesn't make any difference in this this particular uh, matter so i'll just go ahead this one also and now if we uh, 
go to filter and then filter gallery in Photoshop just like Illustrator just a little bit of zoom out I just zoom out a little bit so that I can see the face yeah, and that's okay and then uh, then if we just apply uh, with posterization whatever we were just doing in Illustrator see in case of 3 it's not showing everything in case of 0 it's almost not distinguished now highlight is not visible in case of 1 even in 2 the highlights are not so prominent and shadows are also uh, definitely prominent but uh, shadows are not so significantly uh, visible because of the lighting condition of that particular photo so what we can do we can make this photo a little bit of contrasty so that we get a more uh, shadow area a darker darker shadow area and a brighter uh, highlighted area so how we can do that we can uh, create a curve adjustment I'll just uh, take that from there then curve adjustment and then select that uh, hand tool with two arrows I'll just uh, zoom in to the face and then select this hand with two arrows ups and downs that tool and uh, go to the darkest area maybe maybe this area this area and make it more dark darker than before and we select the highlighted area and make brighter so the image is becoming a little bit of more contrasty now uh, maybe the shadows and highlights will be more visible when we will apply that so what i'll do i'll just press ctrl alt shift e to make it a stamp of all layers and then then we can go to filter and then filter gallery and then a little bit of zoom out yeah i can see that face let's drag it in center and yeah a little bit of zooming so that i can see the face properly three is not working let's do the two two let's start with zero then one yes the highlight is visible now in case of one also you can see the different layers of shaded areas we don't add highlight you can go to two and i don't think two is also necessary for this particular image because we made this image a little bit of more contrasty so we can go for this one and it's done you can now find out the shadow now we can go to the this setup this image is absolutely high contrast image in studio setup so we can directly go to edit filter and filter gallery and then poster edges a little bit of zoom out let me see the face yes now in case of one less layer is available for shadow but in case of two level two everything is very prominent different layers of shadows you can find out so make it okay then next to the next photo go to the next photo this is a shaded day uh, maybe frosty day or cloudy day and very difficult to find out the distinguish between shaded areas and highlights mid tone is absolutely fine but a little bit of shadow in the corner side so let's go filter filter gallery poster edge two oh, let's me zoom out uh, zoom out and then two one zero nothing let's go to one a little bit and let's go to two yeah it's now working now you can see the mid tone the shadow the highlight press ok and if we don't do that we we'll just uh, uh, go to the same kind of things we'll make the darker area more dark and the lighter area more lighter more brighter and then take the stamp and then again we go to filter and filter gallery now let's zoom out we can see the significant difference whenever we make the photo more contrasty the shadows and highlights and midtones are very very prominently distinguished and differentiated from one to another even in three level it's fine but uh, too much but two is absolutely okay you can distinguish between shadows and midtones and highlights look at the nose area it's highlighted so in that way you can save it and then uh, place it in illustrator wherever you are doing the illustration take the photo i'm sorry i didn't save it as uh, uh, the posterized so whether it is you take it as a template or you just place it drag it and put it over there so that's how you can find out the shadows in photoshop as well as uh, illustrator so that's all for today thanks for watching have a wonderful day if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification button to get notified for every new content bye bye